I am going to discuss the importance of changes in the price of goods, namely inflation and deflation. Inflation is a general method for measuring how expensive goods such as bread, milk, cars become over time. In other words, inflation quantifies how much more expensive these goods become over the years. Prices do not always increase. To capture the quality of decrease in prices, we use the concept of deflation. Deflation, in a sense, is the opposite of inflation. Deflation measures how much cheaper goods have become over time. Now this is the definition that you need. Inflation is a sustained rise in the average price level over a period of time, usually a year. Deflation is a sustained fall in the price level over a period of time, usually a year. Inflation and deflation are a first derivative of the price level with respect to time. Falling or rising, that is changes in inflation, are a second order derivative of the price level with respect to time. Why is it important to measure these changes? Remember the basic economic problem. Wants are infinite and resources scarce. Wants increase every year as people prosper. If the pool of resources does not keep up pace with the increase in wants, people use their money to compete for the scarce resources. As they do, buyers offer a higher price to the seller to persuade them to sell. If this happens in the aggregate, the general price level increases and we have inflation. It's unlikely to be inflation or deflation if it happens over just one transaction, like negotiating a lower price for a car or offering a little bit more for a house because personal preferences may condition an economic agent to buy a specific car or a specific house. Hmm? There are other reasons for inflation. Currency valuations, printing money, the level of interest rates and so on. For these, please look at part two of this video series. When is inflation a problem? Let's refer back to the basic economic problem. Consumers, people, have certain needs. They need to eat. They need to go about their daily life. They need cars to get to work. They need accommodation to live in and so on. It is therefore problematic if food prices increase too quickly. For example, in 1789 the price of daily bread used up one half of a daily wage of a Parisian worker. Paris was starving. In 1788 bread cost them only 10% of their daily wage. This inflation in the price of bread led directly to the French Revolution of 1789. The government, therefore, is interested in measuring price changes so as to avoid such a crisis. Some governments, like in South America or Africa, have had real difficulty with managing inflation. But in the UK, the Bank of England has, over the last two decades, done a relatively good job in keeping inflation on target at about 2% plus minus 1%.